There are actually two types of lisps. An interdental lisp, where the tongue is protruding between the teeth like this, for all S and Z sounds. And sometimes they are produced like a lateral lisp, and that's a more slushy quality where the sound is produced out the sides of the mouth. And that sounds a bit more like a Your child's been invited to sneaky sound group because they have an interdental lisp. That's when the tongue protrudes between the teeth. So for all s sounds and z sounds, their tongue is poking out either a little bit or a lot. We'll be starting therapy at single sound level, which just means producing the sound in isolation. So it will be like this, or z. Once your child can do this confidently, we'll introduce a vowel sound after, such as C or Z. We'll then build this up to real words. From real words, we go to phrases, and from phrases to sentences, then the ultimate goal is that we generalize these skills to conversation. We don't want to start with conversation because that might be a little bit too tricky for the kids. It'd be like asking you to start talking with the lisp. So we want to build their confidence and their skills before we start that harder target. In order to get the best outcomes from Sneaky Sound Group, it's really important that you do home practice with your child. So when we talk about home practice, this doesn't have to be like 30 minutes every single day. It can be just five to 10 minutes, but that constant practice is gonna be really important. Like when you're learning any skill, you need to practice it multiple times before that muscle memory kind of kicks in. The best thing about home practice is it can be really fun and it can also be worked into your daily routines, whether that's just cooking dinner or driving in the car or getting ready for bed. We can give you lots of activities and games to, to give you some great ideas of how you can incorporate this. Giving specific feedback during home practice is really important. If your child is getting the sound right, we can give specific feedback such as, that was a really great s sound, or good job keeping your tongue behind. If your child is having difficulty with the word or the sound, we can say things like, I can see that you're trying, let's try and do it together. Or let's get the mirror out and see if we're hiding the tongue. We wanna make sure that home practice and therapy in general is a positive experience for your child.